Occasionally, a piece survives of the 18th century in such amazing condition that it tells us a, a story not only about the construction and the usage of a piece of furniture, but it also tells us something about the artist who made it. We're standing in front of one of the most exciting discoveries that has been made in maybe the last 10 years in the field of American decorative arts. This piece came to our attention 10 years ago. A local appraiser on the West Coast sent us a photograph and said, do you have any idea what this is? And of course we did know what this was. Uh, it is one of the rare early Hadley chess. It's undocumented, it was not known about, and the family that owned it did not know its history. This is a Rosetta Stone for a small group of, of pieces that survive from the 18th century. It's one of those wow moments where you say, where did you get that? This Hadley chest achieved its success through paint and compass decoration rather than carving. And this is what's unique because you almost never see a cabinet maker in America in the 18th century branching out on his own the stylized flowers, the stylized pinwheels that you see around the, the knobs. It tells you that the cabinet makers in 1715 were far more flamboyant than we ever thought before, far more innovative. And so the whole idea of, of mo modernity is, has to be rethought because just like our Sonia Delaunay uh, print in the background here, that's not such a new idea. Actually, people were playing around with compass decoration and paint 300 years before Sonia Delaunay ever thought of doing that. This piece descended in the same family from Hadley, Massachusetts, as the two other known pieces that survive with a white ground and paint decorated compositions like this. The conservator who did the work on the other two pieces wrote an article on the composition of the paints and the decoration and she ended her article by saying, wouldn't it be amazing to have another piece from this group appear which would tell us so much more about the story. And lo and behold, this piece emerges from the west coast of America. It's a tremendous surprise for the field. So whenever we look at a piece of painted furniture, you have to look at it two ways. First as a piece of furniture, and then as a painting. And here we see the paint surface embellishing the front of this, which is a miracle. Uh, it's a survival that just doesn't happen in American furniture. What they did do was put a varnish over the original polychrome decoration, and that kept it intact. And it's that coat of varnish just like an old master painting, it'll be removed and you will see the vibrancy of these colors. It really is an artistic masterpiece.